Hey guys, Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting Rain to episode 8 of You Told Me About She, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Knuckle? No, um, what's your face? Go figure she lives in a apartment because she lives by herself, <clears throat> right? Susan, hold on. You telling <clears throat> you telling me that the summer break only lasted like one episode? <laughs> She's so adorable, but I think the adorableness just belongs to either Aru or Bochi. <laughs> But dang, I mean, it was only one episode, and you would think they would go camping. I mean, they did the karaoke and the pool stuff, but I, I'm thinking like, okay, we're going to have another kind of summer episode today. No, back into school. Back to jail. <laughs> hey, it's okay. And then when are we going to see Nako's house or even Aru's house? Like, we've only seen now What's Your Face's apartment and then Bochi's house. You would think we would go to, like, at least somebody else's house. Like, maybe between episode 8 and episode 9 before the series ends because we are fairly close to it. It's going to end in the next few weeks, which I am sad about it. I kind of like the show just have a second season. <laughs> no, honey, you're so popular. <laughs> So, how much are you going to make? Hmm? You told me. I think she's getting annoyed with you. Yeah? <laughs> Tamadachi? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I know. No.
Okay, did you give it back to her? Mm hmm Just first, give her the ribbon back and then make a conversation through that. Or make a regular old conversation and then eventually give the ribbon back. You got this, boo. Mm hmm Oh my god, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my, how would she? Uh. Not only that, but she wanted to have a conversation with you so that you two can be friends and hang out with the group and the girls and stuff and go do ish. She was trying to be friends with you. Come on, you can do it. Just be brave. No, she's not okay. I know. What's he? And I want to be friends. Ichigo's voice actress from Darling? After hearing her between this week and last week, like I said, that definitely sounds like her. A little bit. Poor baby. He tried and we failed. Uh, oh no! Yeah.
and that's fine. You can just be acquaintances until she's ready to make that next step. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not everyone immediately wants to be friends with you, like, just like that. Maybe for some reasons. Maybe they have their own demons inside of them and they're just not ready to bring it out right now. But until they're ready, until they think that they're willing to bring someone into their life, then yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, her, feeling, her feelings got through those three so eventually it's going to happen Why not? Why would you think? Yeah. You be both. But that's gotta be kinda itchy nose. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. I just need to look it up after I'm done watching this episode. You might run into her. No, I think it's open. Yeah, so now's the time to chat with her. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, my God. She scared me more than FNAF does. <laughs> That's sweet that she likes the clean. gotta be her I swear you don't have to string yeah you can bend your back honey you don't want to hurt yourself no oh, she's cute when she smiles on her hands again. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that song's been stuck in my head for the last two weeks. <laughs> no question. I get that. But then, if you don't... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just read that to yourself. Yeah, not her own special way she is.
see, for me with Karai san, she seems like the type of girl who wants to have friends, but because of the fact is that she feels like that's weakness in her heart and having emotions. And then eventually when you and your friends drift apart, you still have that emotional baggage inside of you. And I don't think she wants that. But I think with Bochi, it'd be a little different. Huh? <clears throat> No, but you just be yourself, baby. Be your <laughs> cute little shy baby. <laughs> she is. She's thinking way too much about this. Got this boo. What's <sighs> okay? <gasps> yeah, good job, babe. I, I know. <laughs> okay. No. And it's okay to be scared, but I don't think Bochi's gonna get mad at you. I think Bochi would be fine with her being, you know, a friend and an apprentice. Mm. Of course! So we're not supposed to tell on friends. Oh, honey. 
Uh huh. I'm stuck. <laughs> you know, she kind of reminds me of my old um chorus teacher. You know, when you're slouching and then when you have to sing, you have to like literally just be like not stiff, but you you have to kind of just like be just mm, out there. And, like when you're just singing, you can't always be like this. You can relax, but then you have to be just performance ready and that's why like a lot of people have always asked me why are you always sitting like this and I'm like I do it so much that my body just naturally does it and sometimes I can't even stop myself Oh, that was so cute. Oh my God. But I mean, for what's her face? Like, I feel like she's going to be friends with Butchie, like, before this series ends. Like, honestly, it's just, it's going to take time for her. I mean, slowly but surely, you know, Butchie's just like coming in and she's just like, mm hmm, like a train. She's slowly liking her, even though at first she's like, you know, hunched back, like, mm mm, straight, stand up straight. Be smart. Mm hmm Walk. Elegant. <laughs> Poise. <laughs> but she's she's adorable. I like really think that's kinda itchy nose. I just gotta find out after this. But um it was a sweet episode. I just really thought that this episode would have been another summer episode and then the following week by episode nine we would went we would have returned back to school. But no, it kind of sucks because I really wanted to see them do more summery things. And yeah, sometimes you can't have that. You can't always get what you want, but that's okay. It was a cute episode. And I mean, in a way, like for Sotaka and Bochi's relationship, I always really considered her the half friend, half um, apprentice. But it's just, you know, it was sweet. She's so freaking adorable that I love her so freaking much. Like, oh my god. Perfect curry curry pancakes. Wait. You're taking something savory as curry and something sweet, a pancake, and you're meshing it together. I know they have sweet and savory pancakes, but I don't know about curry pancakes. I think that's another story that I, I mean, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Um, I'm trying to think of like what you could put see, sweet and savory with it. Oh, no, 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 no. Like if you've had a crepe, um, cause like if you've gone to IHOP and they've done like the crepe thing, there is one savory that's kind of a little bit sweet, um, but not too, too sweet. But then mostly like when you think of a crepe, there's always sweet things and never savory things. But a crepe, I mean, not a crepe, a curry pancake. I don't know how to feel about that, honestly. Now, uh, can we please talk about Nako? Like, Nako, I'm thinking Nako has this, like, always confidence in everything that she does until we found out last week that, you know, um, she was afraid of swimming. This week, last week was swimming. This week is gym. I mean, like, honestly, you know, when it's really hot outside... That's how I am. If I, like, say, all right, come on, let's go for a walk, or, like, or, like, don't even ask me to go on a run, I'm gonna be like, no, I'm walking. 
You can run. You can be all the way far ahead of me. Just know I'm freaking walking in this hot heat of Florida and the sun, like, on my head and just, like, sweating. No. And I just, I'd be exhausted. Like, <laughs> the fact that she asked Audio, like, you made fun of me. She's like, mm, don't know. And then tell Decker, yes! <laughs> like, so it's like, if you don't snitch on our friends, baby. Like, oh my god. No, we, we don't do that. We don't snitch on other friends. Like, we, we, we kind of just like, mm mm mm. Like, no, but like, what's what, so to get the cheese snitch on me? Did she, did she laugh at me? No. Mm mm. No, Nako. No, no, no. I didn't see anything, but like, I thought she would have been fine. But then, you know, this is Nako we're talking about. I mean, like I said, last week was swimming. This week is gym. I, I can't imagine if they had to do a mile run. I feel like she would not last. Just be like, screw it. I'm walking the rest of the rest of the way there. Or I'm power walking or something. I don't know. But, I mean, I'm just hoping that what's your face slowly but surely by the end of the series is friends with Bochi. And... That's all that matters. I mean, she's in the opening, for Christ's sake. So, you know, they have a, an established connection right now, but it's going to blossom into a friendship, and she's probably going to let her walls down of ha not having friends because she doesn't want to always be the emotional aspect and saying that having friends is being weak. And, you know, eventually when you drift apart, you still have that emotional baggage inside of her. And that's what I think her problem is, even though that I've said that before. But I think with Bochi, she's going to evolve from it. She's not going to think that Bochi will be an emotional baggage um, if they drift apart. She'll just be known as one of those good friends who left at a very awkward and sad moment in her life. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Hitoriboshi. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Friday for episode 9. Bye, guys.